What's up everybody, Pete the Hybrid Guy here, and today we're looking at a 2007 Toyota Camry Hybrid. I suspect that it has a bad battery pack in it, so my friends over at Hybrid Automotive sent me some prolonged reconditioning equipment to see if we can get it back out on the road. But before we do that, please hit that subscribe button so I can keep bringing you awesome content. Now let's dive into this car and see if we've got those trouble codes. Okay, so we're in the car. Um, I've got the car turned on. We've got check VSC system, check hybrid system. You can see my battery S state of charge is just non-existent basically. So what the heck is going on here? Well, luckily for us, we've got the Dr. Prius app open and we can find out just exactly what it is that's going on. So let's take a look. And just as suspected, I've got a P0880. Now this is telling us that we need to replace the hybrid battery pack in this car. But that's super expensive. So let's see if we can get the Prolong system to recondition this battery and help us get back on the road for a lot cheaper than what a new battery would cost. Okay, we finally have our Camry Hybrid hooked up and charging. So right now the battery pack is reading 266 volts. It's charging at a smooth 3.46 amps. This is our first cycle up and we're using the Prolong charger, uh, the consumer line to get this battery charged. So I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen from here. We'll check in tomorrow morning uh, where this battery is at voltage wise. Right now everything is plugged in and good. All right, so this is our first round of our charge. We've been on here for about 16 hours on this balance charge. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down for our Toyota Camry hybrid here, and then we'll let the battery rest, and we'll put the discharger on, so we will check back in later. We've got our prolonged battery discharger set up now. I'm going to turn it on. The fans are a bit noisy, so I, I'm sorry for that, but we're going to select our first step down, which is 163 volts, and we're going to go ahead and get this thing ready to go. Notice that our system idle is on, so it's okay to press that button. Once we do, you'll see that we'll start automatically discharging at a desired rate that's internally set by the Prolong Discharger, so this is a very hands-off operation. I'm going to go ahead and just let this do its thing, and we'll come back and check on it in the morning. We just wrapped up our session with our Prolong battery charger and discharger. We've got everything out of the car and now what we need to do is verify that the system reconditioned the battery and that it actually works. So let's jump in the driver's seat, turn it on, and go for a test drive. So I've got the car on, I've got it warmed up, and what I'm looking for is just to see if doing a reconditioning process is going to work with the Prolong kit. So far, there's no trouble codes, but what we really need to do is get this car out on the road and give it a good test drive to see if it's actually done what it said it's going to. So I'm gonna shut this down, get this car out on the road, and we'll resume here in just a minute. Now something that we didn't have before that we do have now is you can see that our arrows are back onto our energy monitor screen here. So we're just gonna buzz down to the road and see how this thing performs. Now so far we have no trouble codes, just a nice little uh, indicator from our tire pressure warning light that it is uh, not functioning in one of the tires, but we're not really worried about that. We wanna see if this Prolong system actually worked. So let's get down to the road and see what happens. Okay, I'm on the road and I'm gonna go ahead and just take off. Put this thing under heavy load. The car is doing phenomenal. You can watch our battery indicator. It is not dropping. Sign of a healthy battery. So 
cool. We're seeing regen. So far, so good. I'm going to go for a little bit longer and see how we do. So I just went for a 13-mile round trip. And now I'm taking a look at what Dr. Prius is telling me. My voltage difference is still not where I want it. But here's the thing. The question is, did the Prolong charging and discharging system work? This car would instantly set a trouble code for a P0A80 instantly whenever I would clear it. Okay, It doesn't do that anymore. I've been at stop signs. I've accelerated heavily. I have really put this car through the ringer. And what I can tell you is that Prolong did its job. It did what it said it was going to do. And it got this car functioning again with no trouble codes. So I'm going to go ahead and call this video a wrap. One thing I need to tell you before starting this system, if you're going to use it on your own Toyota Camry Hybrid or other Toyota Hybrid if you have a Prius or Avalon or, or whatever else, clean the bus bars on the battery. The nickel metal hydride batteries have bus bars that go in between each module and they need to be cleaned. I wanted to put this system to the test to see how well it would do without it and it did a remarkable job. It got the battery functioning again. But if you want a better result than what I got, definitely clean the bus bars before starting the charging and discharging system on your hybrid battery. Thank you so much for watching. Links are in the description below. If you have more questions, feel free to hit me up about these products. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.